Carney and the Landlord and Tenant Board. This is the application from October 4th by Capri Property Management. This application says the tenant failed to remove a YouTube video. This was filed on October 4th for alleged act that happened September 29th when they checked and the YouTube video was not removed. The problem with order number 74150-16-18 is the fact that the allegations allege that this is a first breach happened on the 26th and the 27th of September. If this is the first breach that happened on the 26th and the 27th of September, and the landlord checked YouTube on the 29th and the video was still present, then the landlord would have filed that application on October 4th when they filed this application. That's the first issue of concern for the board, that on October 4th, the landlord filed an application alleging acts that Mr. Clark failed to comply with in the mediation agreement. In the October 4th filing, there is nothing about Mr. Clark entering the management office and recording staff on the 26th and 27th of September. Here is the 26th of September. Mrs. Carney, this is your signature. Your signature on an order on the 26th of September in reference to the landlord not abiding by court order TET 70996. And the allegation is on that day that you dismiss the landlord's claim. September 26, Mr. Clark entered the office and videotaped staff. Now you will receive a videotape of the 27th that will show you that Mr. Clark was videotaping this legal procedure from TET 70996 slash 16.